Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Let's get my pen ready. Language. The first sentence. The giant squid has the larger eyes in the world. Well, beginning of the sentence, we always capitalize. Never forget that. The giant squid, I see a Q, so we're going to have to put a U after it. It's Q-U-I-D. Has the larger eyes in the world. Mm, no, we want the superlative form. You are comparing more than two. So it has to be largest eyes in the world. World should be, as it was, I'm sorry, a spelling word. So you should know how to spell this. It's W-O-R-L-D. And then at the end, always put an end mark. In this case, it is a period. It is a declarative sentence. You're just making a statement. The squid, the giant squid has the largest eyes in the world. The first music CD made in the U.S. was born in the USA. So, capitalize the, getting a sentence. The first music CD was made in the U.S. This is an abbreviation. So, it needs to be capitalized because United States is a proper noun. It needs to be capitalized. Was born in the USA. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is a title. So what do we do to titles? We capitalize the beginning word in the title and all the important words. Well, in and the are those teeny tiny words we don't have to mess with, that we don't have to capitalize, but we do have to capitalize USA. And again, it's an abbreviation of a proper noun. So it needs to be capitalized, all three of those letters, United States of America. They were going to put a period at the end. It's declarative. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I know that it has quotation marks around it. If we're referring to the song itself, there's a song born in the USA then it needs to be have the quotations. If you're talking about the name of the album, the CD, the entire CD album, then you would have to underline it. I'm going to think they're going to, they're referring to the song title. Okay, all right, let's go down. Choose a sentence that is punctuated correctly. A squid has many ways to outsmart its enemies. A crocodile can't stick its tongue out. Have you read the book Squirting Squids? Many squids are small. However, a giant squid can grow to be 40 feet in length. Well, let's look at this. The first one we know is wrong. It's incorrect because it's missing an end mark. The second one is incorrect because of the word can't. It's a contraction, cannot. It needs an apostrophe between the N and the T. Okay. Have you read the book Squirting Squids? Now we just talked about titles. What do you do with titles? You underline the important words in the title. So this means that this one is correct. Let's go to we're going to label the parts of speech. Okay. First off, let's look at our nouns. Let's find our nouns. Who, I'm sorry, person, place, thing, idea. Person, place, thing, idea. The giant squid squirted his black ink and swam away quickly from his predators. Well, squid is a thing. Okay. Ink is a thing. And predators is a thing, okay? Now, we're looking for the verbs. What did they do? We're looking for the action verbs and the linking verbs. The giant squid squirted. Hmm, what did he do? He squirted, so that's my verb. Hmm, what else did the giant squid do? He swam, that's my verb. All right. Now, let's look at this. Okay, let's find our subject. 
our subject is the giant squid. So what did the giant squid do? He squirted his black ink and swam away quickly from his predators. Huh. We have a compound predicate. The giant squid, that is the who or what, squirted his blanket, black ink. The giant squid also swam away quickly from his predator. So we have a compound predicate, but we only have one subject. So this is still a simple subject, simple sentence. Okay, now let's go on. Let's look. Do we, let's look to our nouns. Okay. Do we see anything that says what kind, which one, how many? Oh, I do. I see what kind of squid. It's a giant squid. So that's an adjective. It's describing squid. Ooh, what kind of ink? Black ink. So it's an adjective. Hmm, I think that might be it. Okay, because do, I don't see anything about predators. <clears throat> All right, now, we also have our, I see an article adjective, A and the. All right, now let's go to our verb. Let's go to our verb, squirted. I don't see anything that says how, when, or where. I don't see that, but let's go to swam. Do we see anything that says how the squid swam? Oh, yeah, quickly. So that's our adverb, how, when, or where. Oh, where did the a giant squid sw swim? Away. That is an adverb. Very good. Now, the this is a preposition, and we're going to talk about that. And these are possessive pronouns. And we are going to be talking about those two in the next few weeks. And then we have the word and. Yep, you got it. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? You got it. All right. Possessive pronouns, and I just told you what it was. It was his. We haven't really discussed that lately, so we'll be doing that in the next couple of weeks. Plural nouns. Do you see a plural noun? More than one. I do. It's predators. What type of sentence is this? Yep, you guessed it. It's declarative. It's just making a statement. Okay. Circle, past tense verbs or future tense verbs? Look to your verbs. Squirted, swam. Did, is that, did that happen in the past? Or did that, will that happen in the future? Remember, when you do future tense, it will always have the will with it. Past tense has the ED. Oh, I see squirted. So it is past tense. And then swam. Today I swim, yesterday I swam. So you have to look to those verbs to see whether it's past tense, present tense, or future tense. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Go to the next one and make the corrections on the um, sentences in your Canvas test. Thank you.